Good morning, dear students. I am Dr. Sonal Mishra, first year in Government Degree at PG College, Rajnandgaon. This is the third video related with plant tissue culture. In our first video, we have deal about the requirements, methods, techniques, and types of plant tissue culture. In the second part, we had started dealing the applications of plant tissue culture in detail. First, we have deal about somatic embryogenesis and androgenesis, and in this part, we are going to deal in detail artificial seeds from the examination point of view. Artificial seeds. Before knowing what are artificial seeds, we should know what seed is. A seed is ripened fertilized ovule which forms a new plant or reproduces a new plant. Seeds serve several functions for the plants like nourishment of the embryo, dispersal to new location, and dormancy during unfavorable conditions. Natural seeds have many limitations like Maintaining genetic variations is difficult in natural seeds. In many fruit crops, it's difficult to produce seeds. Seed borne disease is in pest. Some seedless fruit cannot be propagated through seed. Dormancy of seeds in many plants. Many crops are difficult to multiply by conventional propagation methods. It's hard to improve plants through traditional breeding techniques. It is very hard and time consuming. Among the innovative technique of micropropagation, the concept of artificial seed technology is very promising and giving very good results. Synthetic seed is referred to as an encapsulated somatic embryos, which are functionally similar with the natural seeds and can develop into seedling if we provide suitable conditions. Vegetative propagules like birds, shoot tips, bulbs are also used for production of synthetic seeds. Artificial seed can be defined as artificial encapsulation of somatic embryos, shoot bud, or aggregates of cell of any tissues which has the ability to form a plant in in vitro conditions. Artificial seed is also known as synthetic seed which is formed by encapsulating the viable somatic embryos in a protective covering. Its production is useful for plants which do not produce viable seeds. They are of a small size which provide further advantages in its storage, handling, shipping and during its transportation from one place to another place. The term embling is used for the plant originated from these synthetic seeds. Synthetic seeds, they are seed-like structure derived from somatic embryos in infroculture after encapsulation by a hydrogel. Such seeds are encapsulated by protective gel like calcium alginate to protect the seed against microbes and most importantly by desiccation. The demand of artificial seed technology started after the discovery of somatic embryo production in different plant species. We have dealt the production of somatic embryos in our last video. Artificial seeds are also known as sin seeds. They can be formed from shoot buds, cell aggregates or any other tissues. They retain the potential also after storage for a long time and have ability to convert into a plant. The coating material we are using for encapsulation should have some qualities like it should be non-damaging to the embryos, mild enough to protect the embryos and allow germination, but it must be sufficiently durable for rough handling during manufacture, storage, transportation and during plantation. Contain nutrients like growth regulators and other components necessary for germination. The quality of somatic embryo should be good enough. They all are of uniform stage with arrested growth and with high rate of conversion to plantlets when planted. Types of synthetic seeds. Basically, there are two types of synthetic seeds, desiccated synthetic seeds and hydrated synthetic seeds. We can subdivide it in two more types like uncoated desiccated synthetic seeds in which the embryos are desiccated to contain 8 to 15 percent moisture content. Coated desiccated synthetic seeds, the somatic embryos are coated with polyoxyethylene and then they are desiccated. Coated hydrated synthetic seeds in which use of hydrate gels like sodium alginate is done. Uncoated hydrated synthetic seeds, fluid drilling is done for delivery of somatic embryos. Here it is artificial seeds having somatic embryo, having artificial endosperm as artificial seeds always lead the endosperm. Artificial seed having artificial seed coat, somatic embryo and artificial endosperm. Based on the technique, two types of artificial seeds are produced. First one is desiccated synthetic seeds. Second one is hydrated synthetic seeds. Desiccated synthetic seeds are produced naked or polyoxyethylene glycol encapsulation somatic embryos. 
This type of synthetic seeds are produced in desiccation tolerant species plant. Hydrated synthetic seeds. Hydrated synthetic seeds are produced by encapsulating the somatic embryos in hydrogels like sodium alginate, potassium alginate, sodium pactate, and gelatin. Procedure for production of artificial seed. First of all, somatic embryogenesis is established. Mature somatic embryos are taken out. Mass production is done. Standardization of encapsulation, that means encapsulation of these embryos are done. Artificial endosperms are formed. Mass production of synthetic seeds. Then they are tested in greenhouse and then they are planted in fields. Method of making synthetic seed, like first we have to establish the callus culture. Now we have to induce somatic embryogenesis in it. That means the formation of somatic embryos, maturation of somatic embryos. Then we will encapsulate those somatic embryos. Now synthetic seeds are formed. They are tested, test for embryoid to plant conversion. Then greenhouse and field planting is done. Need for artificial seed production technology. Development of micropropagation technique will ensure abundant supply of desired plant species. Development of artificial seed production technology is currently considered as an effective and efficient method of propagation in several commercially important agronomic as well as horticultural crops. These artificial seeds would also be a channel for new plant lines which are produced through biotechnological advances. High propagation potential of somatic embryos combined with formation of synthetic seeds in low cost would open new path for use of clonal propagation in several commercially important crop plants. Basic requirement for the production of artificial seeds. First, we will require vigorous somatic embryos that can produce plants with greater frequencies in comparison to natural seed. That means they should be vigorous than natural seeds having more potential inexpensive production of large number of high quality somatic embryos the production cost should be less encapsulation and coating system important for delivery of somatic embryos for the development of synthetic seeds and then commercialization of these synthetic seeds desiccated synthetic seeds it involves encapsulation of somatic embryos polyoxyethylene or we can say polyox is used as a chemical for encapsulation followed by their desiccation it can be prepared by using following method we have to mix equal volume of embryo suspension with polyox now this suspension is dispensed on a teflon sheet dried to wafers in a laminar flow for about 5 hours until it gets separated from teflon plate the polyox is readily soluble in water and dries to thin film it does not support the growth of microorganism and is non toxic to the embryos Hydrated synthetic seeds. Several methods have been examined to produce hydrated artificial seed, out of which calcium alginate encapsulation has been the most widely used. We can prepare it by using following method. Mix somatic embryo with sodium alginate. Drop the mixture using a pipette into solution of calcium nitrate. Ion exchange reaction occurs and sodium ions are replaced by calcium ions forming calcium alginate beads. Methods for artificial seed encapsulation. First one is dropping method. Somatic embryos are dipped in hydrogel. This step is known as encapsulation, which is used to encapsulate the somatic embryos. Hydrogel used may be any one of the following alginate, like sodium alginate, agar from seaweeds, seed gums like gore gum, locust bean gum, sodium alginate solution prepared in MS basal medium. Somatic embryos are dipped in this solution. Now we get the coated beads. They are added one by one in a complexation solution flask kept on magnetic stirrer for around 20 to 30 minutes. Generally, we kept it for 25 minutes. Embryos get covered by calcium alginate, which is a stable complex due to ionic bond formation. And now our synthetic seeds become harder. Then gelled embryos are washed in water or MS basal medium. The synthetic seeds are now ready. The second method is molding method. This method follows simple procedure of mixing of embryos with temperature dependent gel. Cells get coated with the gel at low temperature. Here the procedure of synthetic seed production is demonstrated by the tissue culture technique. First of all somatic embryos are formed. These isolated somatic embryoids are mixed with sodium alginate solution. Encapsulation of somatic embryos are done. 
then they are transferred to calcium nitrate solution then they are tested for plant conversion capacity and if they are germinated properly then they are planted in pots similarly here leaf stem root anything is taken as as plant and put in a solid medium or we will go for suspension culture and in both the cases we have to form somatic embryos first callus is formed and then somatic embryogenesis is done to form somatic embryos while in suspension culture somatic embryos are formed in suspension cultures these somatic embryos are put in sodium alginate solution embryoids mixed with sodium alginate solution and then they are transferred to calcium chloride solution now they are coated and synthetic seeds and encapsulated beads in calcium chloride are ready the alpha alpha tissue culture system used to produce synthetic seeds first of all petiole is selected as explant callus culture is done or suspension culture is done sieving of somatic embryos then somatic embryo has to pass all the developmental stages it will reach to the maturation stage then it is encapsulated desiccated field tested and allow for germination encapsulation methods for synthetic seeds dropping procedure the most useful encapsulation system in which we have to drip sodium alginate drops from the tip of the funnel and the somatic embryos are inserted in these drips keep the encapsulated embryos complex in calcium salt for 20 minutes rinse the capsule in water and then stored in an airtight container here it is shown this drops are sodium alginate drops somatic embryos are inserted in these drops and then washed with water automate encapsulation process this is the quick method of artificial seed production alginate solution with embryos is feed from supply tank here it is shown in this diagram this one is the supply tank alginate capsules were planted in trays using a vacuum seeder the capsules are planted in the field using a planter a hydrophobic coating is required for mechanical handling overview of dry synthetic seed production after pollination a zygotic embryo of a dicotyledonous species develops through a series of morphological stages like globular heart and torpedo stage of development cotyledons develops and expand as a storage reserve of protein starch and oil before the embryo achieves its maximum weight it acquires the ability to tolerate drying this is very much required for survival of the embryos then the seeds stop importing nutrients from mother plant and it begins to lose water and once they are hydrated germination starts again with the emergence of radical and then the mobilization of storage reserves by the seedlings this is the representation of the major stages in zygotic embryo development from pollination to germination this one is the pollination stage reserve depositions are formed acquirement of desiccation tolerance embryo achieves the desiccation tolerance during its maturation now it can be stored and again when it gets water by the process of imbibition radical emergence will be there reserve food mobilization will be there and finally it will germinate so this one is developmental stage then dry and storage stage and then again germination stage types of gelling agents used for encapsulation several gels like agar alginate carboxymethyl cellulose gel ride gorgum sodium pactate etc were tested for synthetic seed production out of which alginate encapsulation was found to be more suitable and practicable for synthetic seed production alginate was chosen because it enhances capsule formation and also rigidity of alginate beads provide better protection to the encased somatic embryos against mechanical injuries during its transportation principle for encapsulation the major principle involved in alginate encapsulation process is that the sodium alginate droplets containing the somatic embryos when dropped in calcium chloride solution form round and thin beads due to the process of ion exchange between the sodium in sodium alginate solution and calcium in calcium chloride solution sodium alginate upon complexation with calcium chloride for half an hour gives optimum hardness and rigidity for the production of viable synthetic seeds artificial endosperm as we know artificial seed always lack the natural endosperm 
somatic embryos like seed coat testa and tegmate are the parts of seed coat and endosperm that provide protection and nutrition for zygotic embryos in developing seeds to overcome these deficiencies addition of nutrients and growth regulators to the encapsulation matrix is desired which serves as an artificial endosperm this addition results in increased efficiency of germination and viability of encapsulated somatic embryo so it can be kept for a long duration these synthetic seeds can be stored for a longer period of time even up to 6 months without losing viability especially when stored at 40 degree centigrade temperature these are artificial seeds of citrus artificial seeds of coffee utilization of artificial seeds the artificial seeds can be used for various purposes mainly multiplication of non seed producing plants ornamental hybrids or the propagation of polypoid plants with allied or special traits that means desired characteristic features it can be employed in the propagation of male or female sterile plants for hybrid seed production cryo preserved artificial seeds may also be used for germ plant preservation particularly in species like mango coca coconut etc as this seed will not undergo desiccation artificial seed produced in tissue culture are free of pathogens thus another advantage is the transport of pathogen free propagule across the international borders avoiding bulk transportation of plants quarantine procedures and spread of disease applications of synthetic seed artificial seed provides low price production it's going to act as distinctive delivery system Artificial seed technology has evolved as another and probably most economical technique for mass propagation of various plant species. By the artificial seed technology, species may be propagated in distinct places very easily. Transportation is very easy. Cereals, fruits, and other plants may be studied with the assistance of artificial seed development at any place in the world. Artificial seeds are very easy to handle. artificial seed may be transported from one country to a different without the obligation from the quarantine department benefits of artificial seeds allied genotypes that means desired or required characters can easily be induced species that have difficulties in seed production can easily be grown with the help of artificial seed technology even non seed production species can be propagated through it pathogen free plants can be generated directly it can be transported and planted in fields genetic uniformity will be there it is low cost technology for production of plant germ plus storage can be done with itself hybrid seeds can easily be formed genetically engineered crop plants can be produced with the help of artificial seed technology potential uses of artificial seed reduce cost of transplant it is very cost effective low cost technology directly it can be transferred to greenhouse and fields allied and selective genotypes can easily be produced and propagated large scale monocultures can easily be produced it can be conventionally handled as seed using conventional planting equipments it can be produced throughout the year its supply is non interrupted conservation of germ plasm large scale production of identical embryos in very short period can be done difference between natural and synthetic seeds in natural seed hard seed coat is present while in synthetic seed it is only encapsulated embryos are much protected within cotyledons or endosperm while in synthetic seed embryos are non protected within any kind of maternal tissue in natural seed embryos undergo controlled desiccation by the maternal tissue and have a natural dormancy period while in synthetic seeds embryos do not pass through any kind of desiccation and they do not have any dormancy period the natural seeds have their own storage reserve like endosperm or cotyledons to provide food during germination while in artificial seed they do not have their own storage tissue the nutrients or growth regulators can be supplied by artificial endosperms in synthetic seeds here germination of artificial seeds are soon after the germination stage they have reached that means formation of radical they are planted in pot and a new plant is generated by the help of artificial seeds thank you